All right, welcome back, everybody. It's been a few weeks since uh, the Phantom seized up. Um, today's our last warm day of the season, it looks like. Um, so I am going to uh, take this bike here out uh, and uh, pedal as fast as I can and see if I can break that piston loose uh, in that jug. Um, and then if I can, maybe see if it runs again. And if not, and it's super stuck, maybe see if I can take it apart and see how bad it is inside. So uh, I'm going to go uh, try to bump start that and see what happens. Okay, so I went out and pedaled as fast as I could. And uh, yeah, no dice. That piston in there seized up and basically welded itself in there. So uh, yeah. Now we gotta figure out a way to get it apart. Uh, man. I think I'm going to pull the spark plug and put some PB blaster down there and try to spin it over with the spark plug out so it doesn't make compression. And then maybe I can at least get it busted loose enough so I can pull that jug off. Let's see what's going on with our plug. Ooh. That, uh, let me see if I can get zoomed in here. That doesn't look too hot. <laughs> Actually, on the contrary, it looks very hot. Um, yeah, I mean, if this wasn't a two-stroke, uh, yeah, that would be a great-looking plug. But, uh, this tells me that, uh, it was running very, very hot. And, uh... There's no oil residue on the plug whatsoever, so the odds of there being oil down there, pretty minimal. Alrighty, see if we can get this thing freed up a little bit. Alright, that should be enough of a PB Blaster. Still going through this one big jug. This is way smarter than the little spray cans. It lasts forever and it's way cheaper. Anyway, we'll let that soak for a while and I'll go out and uh, try to get it to go again. Okay, so no matter how fast I pedal this or how long I try to drag it along with pedaling, it just keeps slipping the clutch or uh, skidding the rear tire. Uh, so this thing's definitely seized really hard. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull off the side cover where the clutch is. Uh, since we don't have enough torque with those clutch pads, um, I'm going to try to get a screwdriver or a small pry bar on the teeth of that ring uh, that the clutch is mounted to. And then hopefully I can use that mechanical advantage to get the piston moving in the bore. Because otherwise I don't think I'm going to be able to pull this jug off. Okay, I got all the screws out here. This should just peel right off. Let's see if I can save that gasket. Awesome. Okay. Inside of the cover, a little greasy, but that's just from the grease that was put on the ring. So nothing too bad there. It looks like this has already been adjusted. I don't see any bluing on this, I don't know what you call that, flywheel in this case. Anyway, so this all looks okay. Um, looks like the same can't be said for the engine, but... Uh, yeah, let me get the rest of this off. Let's see if we can get a... Yeah, this is a screwdriver situation. See if I can get a screwdriver in there and get this thing turning. Okay, so by putting this uh, two-foot pry bar in here and kind of prying like that and working against the teeth of this smaller gear, I, I don't have full rotation yet, but I do have some movement. So uh, that's good. I'm just going to keep working this back and forth. And eventually, maybe I'll get a full rotation out of it. Imagine there's a... Uh, a nice ridge inside this jug that we have to work past. So really counting on that uh, PB blaster to do its job. 
Well, it's certainly not happy about it, but I was able to get a full revolution out of the crank. Uh, I'll see if I can get past the tight spot here to show you without the pry bar. It's making really bad noises. Oh, God. Oh, that's not a one-hander yet. I'm going to keep working this off camera until I can get it to go around freely. Okay, so it took a lot of work. Um and a lot of PB blaster, and a lot of prying, and I was finally able to get several relatively free rotations out of this engine. Um, it is not pretty by any means, and there's definitely a tight spot, um, so it's definitely not, like, good anymore. Um, but, I don't know. I'll cut back and show you uh, how it's rotating now, and I don't know, maybe I'll throw the spark plug in and see what the hell, see if it comes back. Okay. See if I can do this one-handed now. There's the tight spot. And it does go past it. Two tight spots, actually. I suppose that's going up and then coming down. So, yeah, I figure I'm just going to throw the cover back on and put the spark plug back in and see if I can't get this thing to come back to life. Alright guys, uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I tried to start this thing and uh, not only did it not start, it is knocking hard. Like, we're talking hammer on a tin roof hard. I'll give it one more to show you. Yeah. There's not even an exhaust leak. That is just knocking. So uh, I'm going to pedal this back. We're going to disassemble this engine because uh, it's not sounding too happy. I'll give you one more. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I got the engine out of the bike and up on the workbench here. Let's see if we can uh, pull this jug and see what uh, secrets lie inside. All right, well, I got the uh, nuts off of the studs that hold the uh, jug on. Got a little bit of a gap here that I'm working with, but, uh, yeah, this thing's still really on there. So uh, I'll cut back once I get the jug off. Okay, so I got the uh, jug off, and uh, if you can see in there, let's see if I can get that in focus, the piston ring, one of the two, busted off. And uh, that was the source of our knocking. I'll zoom in a little bit. You can see all those grooves in there. So the piston ring busted off and was being banged by the piston into the, uh, well, what would be the cylinder head if this was not a one-piece jug. So it looks like, uh, despite having the uh, piston swap, this has failed in the same fashion as all the other ones. Oh, yeah, there's... Whoa, yeah, there's a nice chunk out of it. So you can see where it got hot there. And this is right by... Right by the exhaust port. Piston got hot. The rings expanded right by the exhaust port. Caught the exhaust port. Busted off. Caused a loss of compression. And you can see all the uh, the glazing and essentially welding going on down there. Uh, so this failed uh, just the same way as the stock pistons do. So now we know. Yeah, even the backside, that's not looking too hot either. Whew! Man, never actually uh, blown an engine up before. Didn't take much either. Wow. You can just see all that aluminum up top. Man. All of that just exploded in there. Yuck. Alright guys, that's the end of the show. Uh, that's also the end of the series uh, for testing this uh, Phantom 85 to see how long it would last. The answer? About 25 to 30 miles after I got it, after the piston swap. So, uh, granted, uh, 
you know, this maybe wasn't your typical use case, but uh, it just shows it's still not a super reliable engine yet. Um, anyway, I still have a carcass of an engine. The bottom end seems okay. Uh, it's probably going to need a jug and another piston. Uh, I've heard rumors that there's some better ones out there. Personally, I don't, I don't know if they are any better. Maybe you can, you can find out and do a video on it yourself, and uh, I'll link to your video. Um, so that's kind of the idea here. I am going to uh, throw this, uh, this engine in its current blown up form. I'm going to reassemble it, and I'm going to put it on eBay. And uh, I'm sure you've all heard that Hurricane Ian went through Florida and uh, really did a lot of damage down there, and there's a lot of people in need. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to just throw this in an auction just for whatever the lowest price point is that eBay will let me put it on there. Um, and then I'll let you guys bid on it, and 100% of the, uh, of the bid or proceeds of that auction uh, will go to the American Red Cross, which is currently helping uh, with disaster relief down in Florida. Um, so I hope you guys uh, are interested in that. Um, if you are, or if you just want to rebuild this engine and have me and LA Hover Bikes uh, link to it on our channels, that's fine too. Um, go ahead, throw some bids on there. I'll have a link in the description to the auction. Um, and that's pretty much it for today. If you like the video, um, subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.